belongs to the camel species, but is much smaller and has no humps. Then is it a camel? I guess so. So it a camel like without a, a hump. Without a uh, hump. Obviously. <laughs> it must have been a rough 40 million years. We couldn't get this back together. <laughs> Well, we thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> Nightline is next in your next local news in the morning with Tammy and Glenn. Bye-bye. <laughs>don't believe it for a minute. You're going to have a pope, but they still have a captain. I put my money with pope. Both sides want the visit to go smoothly, but there are people here still living a nightmare. We saw they weren't going to help us. I understood they wanted to kill us. The pope and Fidel finally face to face. This is if God would embrace the devil. It'll be impossible to put the genie back in the bottle. Tonight, crossing the divide, the eve of the Pope's arrival. From ABC News, this is Nightline. Reporting from Havana, Cuba, Ted Koppel. Revolution Plaza in the heart of Havana has never witnessed anything quite like it before. In another couple of days, Pope John Paul will be celebrating Mass here. Looming over the square, as it has for years, a giant outline of Cuba's Marxist saint, Che Guevara. On the other end of the square, raised into position...